Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna do a little question and answer with my husband Jack. And he's here to answer some of your most asked questions. So let's go. I put a little question box on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can send more questions and just find out what we're doing every day. I post a lot of things there pretty fast. <laughs> Jack just woke up, so he didn't get really ready for this video, but he's beautiful anyways. Okay. We look good. Someone asked, how did we meet? So you're gonna answer this one. How did we meet? No, I'm not sure. No, but how did we meet in person? At the social. We met in Bali. Me and Jack were talking already online for a while, for maybe two months, and we were talking there's some video calls all the time. After that, I was like, oh, is she real? And then I checked it and she was real. But then I made sure I had to, I had to FaceTime her first just to make sure she was real. So every day and then we finally met in Bali. He fell in love. Okay. Um, Why did we get married so young? Because I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's the answer. Because a lot of people say we got married too young, but you... <laughs> You're always too old or too young, like people are always going to talk about everything. Uh, so you can't please everyone and we wanted to get married. We already lived together for a while and we love each other. So we wanted to get married. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did we deal with long distance in the beginning? So uh, after our Bali trip, I got back to California where I was living. And I was working a lot, so Jack was doing some contests and he couldn't come over. So we were doing video calls all the time and just texting a lot, trying to keep in contact and just tell each other everything that was happening. But it was really hard. I missed him a lot. Mm, me too. <laughs> now we called about three times or four times a day because we were away for like two months at the most. So it wasn't that bad in the end, but... Yeah, we the first care. time was really hard because we were apart from each other for almost two months in the beginning. And then after this, we uh, Jack came to California and then we started traveling together and we never ever got separated again for more than like two weeks. Because now I follow him everywhere. Yeah, she comes everywhere. She doesn't let me go by myself anywhere, mm -hmm. which is good. Okay, do we fight a lot? Yeah, but only on silly things do we fight a lot. Like, like we not... don't fight, we have discussions. Yeah, well it's got to a discussing point, but before we would fight on silly things, now it's like you have to discuss it. But we never had a fight that we didn't talk to each other for more than a day. Mm, no. no. Like we never had a real fight, like we never like, broke up or anything. No, that's silly. We, we always never did that. talk about things and yeah. go through things together. Yeah, it's... But it's normal, like, even with your best friend, like, Jack's my best friend now, but even, like, with your friends when you're younger, you fight all the time because living with people, it's hard, with your family, so, yeah. <laughs> hmm, <laughs> tell me about it. Kay. She eats all the food and doesn't have any regard for what's in the fridge. You do that. Okay. How did Jack propose? Hmm. So... Everyone asked this question. It, it's... A bit different so we kind of always talked about getting married and then in Hawaii Jack came with the idea of getting a tattoo together on our wedding fingers and that was very surprising because he doesn't have any tattoos he always said he hated tattoos so I felt like this was the propose and then after we kind of <laughs> started to get married together yeah, that's what happened. And then, and then maybe uh, five days before a wedding, he proposed again. Yeah, I did two proposals. She's lucky. She got two. Not just one. So you're lucky. Now it's good. We did two. Do we want kids? Uh, one day. <laughs> yes. When? Well, what that kind of question is that? <laughs> I'm kidding. We don't want kids right now. Of course, we want kids and it will be amazing. And I want to have a lot of kids. I don't know if check ones, but I will anyways. But yes, we do. Not now because Not right I, now. I'm no, just dealing we're busy. with we're dealing with so many things and getting so many things together. We have so many ideas of business we want to do and 
other things and I think when we have kids I want to be a mom I don't have time to be a mom and just be there yeah where would our kids grow up around the world uh, like yeah I think around the world yeah we don't want to live in one place no not just one place we definitely want to take them around the world because we need show. to be traveling for work so it would be really hard to be in one place because then yeah. we will be separate like one of us would be far i would want to show them what we had too like because i was always traveling so i would want to show them and give them the most experiences possible yeah i was never traveling but then i started traveling when i was 17 18 and it's really great okay who is more jealous Definitely Julia. She gets more jealous than anything. I used to be jealous at the start, but I don't get jealous anymore. Now she's the one that gets jealous. Yeah, I think yeah. Jack's actually not jealous at all. I'm, yeah. I'm very jealous. Not oh. jealous, but I'm protective. Yeah, she's protective. I'm protective. Very protective. But I'm not possessive. Yeah, I you, let you go. It's not a possessive face. jealous, it's a protective possessive. I just love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me too. Does Jack care about my sexy pics on Instagram or modeling jobs? Hmm? Do you care about my sexy pictures or modeling? No, uh, that's your job. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> I made him say that. <laughs> In the beginning, he used to get a little bit jealous of some photos, but now he learned and now he actually takes my sexy pictures. Most yeah, of it them. depends who's taking it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I always try to work with respectful photographers and really good people and Jack knows most of them and it's really good. Yeah, because most of them are me anyway. <laughs> what is our favorite thing to do together? Um, hmm. Eating, surfing, going to the beach. Favorite thing to do together probably Going on the ocean, just taking the jet ski out. Exploring in the ocean, probably, because that's always good fun. And then Going to Julia the likes to eat a lot. She's a Taurus. If you ever know a Taurus, they get angry and they don't eat. So she always likes to eat. And uh, yeah, yeah, we like going to the beach. Around. We don't. We're not very hard. Like all dates are usually on the beach, or we just go eat something. How are we different in personalities? We are very, very, very different. I talk a lot and I'm very hyper and Jake's more quiet and he usually have the best like solving problems, skills and I'm more freaked up. Now I don't get stressed in an intense situation. I just sit back sometimes and assess it and then we move forward. But Julie but sometimes make, gets fired up with things but then but it's I a good balance. Work. Yeah, you get things done. I get a lot of things done. And I'm the one who makes sure it gets done right. <laughs> but I get things done okay. and I'm very... No, we work as a team. Good. It's good. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about cultural difference. What's the best part about being married to a Brazilian? <laughs> best, part of about being, best part about being married to a Brazilian? Ooh. <laughs> they're definitely honest they yeah. don't want to they never go around things it's straight to the point um, and sometimes they have a little too much energy I didn't ask the worst part about it I asked the best part ok the best part about it is they always have energy they're never afraid to speak their mind and And they cook good food. Yeah, they're very loving, they're very passionate about things, they're very supportive and yeah, they feel strong about their... I don't know, I lost that one then. Okay, and what's... That. and what... and to an Australian, now I need to respond. Hmm. I think the best part of being married to Jack, not just an Australian, because there are a lot of Australian guys that are different, but Jack's very respectful, he's not sexist at all, he really respects me, whatever I do, he respects my job, and he's really nice, and treats me really well, and I feel like men in Brazil are very sexist still, and definitely there are sexist men in Australia too, but yeah, Jack is a person, he's really good to be with, and what's the worst part about being married to an Australian, I'm gonna tell first. 
So the worst part about being married to an Australian is sometimes they're very slow in solving problems. Like they think about things so much and don't always do it. They just think, think, think. They very like... Yeah, but there's two sides to that. It's solving a problem really slow, but then you actually have the right solution to the problem. That's the thing. They don't always... Things don't happen boom, boom, boom in one second. So you got to solve it in the right way. You know? That's true. Not just... That's true. And then the best part about being... I already say the best part. And then what's the worst part about being married to a Brazilian? Worst part sometimes. Well, it's not really a worst part. It's just the way you take it. It's kind of like they get really angry sometimes, really quickly, but then you sort of can't contribute too much to it. And then I also it just, just let it past. Yeah, well, that's it. They, it's right in front of them. They don't even know. They forget it quick. So then you just let it pass and off it goes, and then it's all good. <laughs> What do you find the most thing about Julia? Most beautiful thing about Julia? Most beautiful thing about Julia, she's very beautiful. <laughs> no, uh, she's always there for me in every way, and I like she respects me, and she's always been there to help and been there to care. So it's um, that's all you could want in a good partner. What's the best? What do you find the most beautiful thing about Jack? The same. He's always there for me. He loves me and he respects me. And even when I get crazy and say a lot of things that I don't mean to, he always have patience to teach me. And I learned so much with him about patience, about so many things. Oh, yeah. How do you balance time together and time alone since you were living together? So we have been living together for a while. It's not that we just got married and we started living together. So we were used to it. And yeah, we pretty much do everything together because we like it. Like we go to the groceries together. We do everything. We go everywhere but, together. I go to a modeling job sometimes. Not as much as she comes to my surfing contest. But yeah, we do a lot of trips together and we're always together. So we just like being together. The best it can be. But... It's also really good sometimes to go do some things alone, like I go surfing with my friends or I go to my classes or I go work by myself and sometimes like we're home but we respect each other's space so I'm doing my thing, he's doing his thing, yeah. Yeah, it's a balance. Did our relationship change since we got married? Mm, no. I think it got better. I think maybe. it just yeah. got better over time, not just because that happened, it's not just some people think if they're going to get married, oh, everything's going to be solved. Or if they have oh, babies, go maybe bad. everything's going to be solved. No, it's not like that. You're always working on it and you got to always make an effort. So just in the little things, not just big efforts, just in the little things, even the most simplest. Who cooks better? <laughs> mm, both of us. Um, I think me. No, that's not true. I think me. Well, you have certain dishes you can cook good, but then I'm always learning quick to do things. Like Jack comes up with some really good desserts. Yeah, and I know and desserts cakes. and stuff, but I'm good with staying healthy. Like I always am pretty... Um, healthy. Yeah, like I'm really committed to being healthy. Yeah, we both eat really but healthy. We're both good. And sometimes yeah. we eat some shit meals, but even when we eat shit meals, we eat healthy. Cheat meals. Cheat. 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 Cheat meals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I gonna go in all contests with Jack whenever I can? Yes. If I don't have a really good job, yes. If I have a, like an okay job, then okay, I'll go to the contest. But whenever I have my work, if it's good, I'm gonna go work. But I really love to go to contests with Jack. It's really exciting. And just like being there for him. Yeah, you're good to have it. Okay, that's all the questions. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this, subscribe to my channel and check my other videos. And we'll see you next time. And Jack wants you guys to follow him on Instagram too. He posts a bunch of really cool surfing videos and workouts and just nice things. And he's beautiful. <laughs> you can follow me here. No! <laughs>